Hi Libra, welcome to your October Love Tower reading. So Libra, we're looking at your love life or love situation, whatever comes out here. So we're going to just take the messages as they come, whatever you need to know. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Libra, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Libra. So we have the Mother Mary uh, Oracle here. We're going to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. All right, Libra, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, Libra, October Love Tower reading. Can you believe October already? Let's get your messages here and then we'll jump into your reading. Again, happy birthday. Let's lay these out, see what's going on, and then we'll jump into your reading. Our Lady of the Whispering Heart, and we have two, which is Choices, Decisions, Partnership, Unities. Our Lady of Divine Presence, 14, which is 5, which could be about change. Our Lady of the Rose Crown, we have 40, which is 4, which is Stability Foundation. And we have Our Lady of Nourishment, 34, which is uh, 7. 7 is Divinely Guided uh, Spiritual Energy. It can be a little challenging. So I feel like there's somebody around you, Libra. So it could be your energy where you're feeling someone's presence. I feel like it could be like a friend or an acquaintance, maybe even a coworker, someone in your social settings or circle, friend of the family, whatever the case may be, where you are feeling now a different energy of the presence of this person where your heart is starting to whisper to you, I think I'm getting feelings for this person. So we do have the rose crown here, which somebody could hear, somebody here could have gone through some difficult times. You know, a rose, it's beautiful, but there can be uh, pain associated to it because it does have thorns. Usually when you're wearing that rose crown, you're going through some sort of challenge right now that could be a little painful. But there could be beauty on the other end of that. And nourishment is about healing, tending to oneself, replenishing, fuel. Hmm. I'm almost feeling this energy, Libra, of like you see somebody. Again, it's somebody in your presence. It's a divine presence now because we're having little flutters of the heart. And it's like you could be seeing this person. It's like, yeah, they've been through a very challenging time right now. This person could have had somebody that passed away. And all you want to do is show this person uh, compassion, you know, very caring, nurturing kind of energy. Okay, interesting. Now that sounds very, very specific, Libra, so take it how it resonates. If it's not like an actual passing, it could be like, okay, I see that person. And now I have feelings for them and I know they're going through challenging time right now or they have been. And I just want to show them support and uh, nurture, I don't want to say nurture them, but I just want to show them a lot of kindness, compassion, nurturing kind of energy. Or vice versa, you know, it could be either way, but let's see. Let's see, Libra. All right, let's see what we have. So we have the uh, Legacy of the Divine Tower here. We're going to do our uh, reading with this deck and then we're going to close it out with some angel answers at the end all right libra let's see what this means for the birthday babies for libra what do we need to know october okay ace of pentacles reversed that just kind of flew out there all right what does that mean what do we need to know for libra king of wands hmm. okay strength oh Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles reverse. So two very contradictory energies because the Two of Swords would be a little indecisive. I don't really have big clarity of mind to make a decision, but I know it needs to be made. Then the Two of Pentacles in reverse is kind of like not juggling things around anymore. I know what I need to do, balancing out the energies, making things easier, simple big decisions and making a decision. So we have two cards of Leo here. OK, 
King of Wands and the Strength card. I feel like we don't have your energy showing up here yet. Although the Two of Swords, that could be Libra. Um, I don't usually go into the minors like that, but um, I feel like I do feel like Libra, like you may want to take the lead because you're now feeling a strong connection to someone or your feelings are growing stronger for someone. But the Ace of Coins reverse you. You're like, well, I don't know if this is the right time to do this, but wanting to take action, but a little indecisive. I don't know. But really having that balance, like I know, like I know how I feel now. I know what I want to do, but I don't know if it's the right time so what do I do if that makes sense so you know now feeling a lot of attraction chemistry passion towards somebody where maybe you never thought of this person like that before or you never felt that way before towards this person something definitely has changed strength you know strong connection cannot be denied strong courageous and brave soul contracts past lives can also be strong enough to hold back willpower Hmm. All right, let's see what else we need to know about this Libra. So like I said, if it's not you, it could be somebody around you. Um, but let's see, is this... All right, let's see, how can I ask this now? Who's feeling this connection? Who's feeling... Is it Libra or someone around Libra? I guess take it out resonates if you're like yeah i've been through something but i have a feeling there's someone around me that has feelings for me it definitely could be that or vice versa all right what else okay so let's see ten of pentacles what is that about ten of wands wow queen of wands reverse okay we have a match but one's upright, one's reversed. Death. Page of Swords reversed, you know. In the Hangman. So this is a little bit of a limbo here. So, uh, Page of Swords. That's Aquarius. All right, Libra. So I feel like this is the other person. They may have been weighed down by a heavy situation. I don't feel like it could be work. Ten of Pentacles could be some sort of commitment, maybe even a marriage, that maybe come down, crashing down on them, come to an end. Um, definitely death, hard, death here, too. So that's funny. I said a passing. It could be somebody was married and that person passed. So whether or not this was a mutual thing, especially if somebody was going you know, through something with their person and maybe the person was battling a long time illness or something so maybe it was something that that they saw coming but still wasn't ready for or maybe you know I, I, this sounds so specific it sounds like a private reading i don't know what to tell you libra but this is what i'm getting anyway someone heavily weighed down by something a burden uh a situation had to do around stability longevity possibly their home life family maybe even a marriage or something like that. Uh, Queen of Wands reversed. So, yeah, I feel like the energy's just slightly off here. There is a match where there could be great chemistry, a strong connection, because this king, this is all connected right here. But whatever the process is about an ending and transformation into a new beginning, I think it has to be held in limbo just a little bit right now. So, Page of Swords reverse is like, now may not, my, I can't even speak. Now may not be the right time to come forward with this communi kind of communication to this person, whether it's you or them. Someone has to finish, I feel like, some sort of healing process around a circumstance before um, some sort of connection can be established, even though one person is strongly feeling something towards the other one kind of wants to make it happen right now i think there has to be this energy of hold resistance and holding back the strength card have back having some sort of um patience so i wouldn't be surprised if we see temperance as definitely a lot about patience uh but we have pisces aquarius scorpio aries all right libra let's see what else we need to know 
What else do we need to know here for Libra? You know, in Hangman is only temporary, so maybe this is just a short amount of time. Being a little bit patient. What's this? Yeah, Four of Coins definitely is about holding back. Faith. So we do have temp um, Hierophant here. Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups. Wow. Five of Cups reversed. Three of Cups. So I do feel like, you know, someone's almost at the end of a grieving process, I feel, of some kind over a situation. Because we do have a Five of Cups in reverse. So maybe this was something uh, a while back here. Um... Because we do have the Five of Cups of over reverse. That's overcoming sadness, loss, grief, sorrow. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. I mean, fire, passion, romance, taking action. There's been some holding back. And Hierophant can be about doing the right thing. So that could be moral, traditions, values, standards, growth, expansion, leadership. Uh, also, it can be marriage or commitment. So I feel like here, having faith. You know, faith, hope, spirituality, religion, leveling up big time as well. So I do feel like someone, you know, their vibration is rising, but it's like holding back, resisting, and just keeping the faith. But I do see something moving forward here. I mean, we have some sort of action being taken here with two knights and something changing, no more sadness, grief, loss of sorrow, and the possibility here for courting, dating, getting to know with the Three of Cups. So we have two card. No, we have Taurus, Sag, Scorpio. So there's something moving forward here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Interesting. All right. All right, this chair. I'm ready to throw it out the window. Okay. <sighs> Libra, let's see. Libra... All right, let's see what else we need to know about this for Libra, October love. Let's see. What else do we need to know for Libra, October love, tarot? Five of Pentacles. Hmm. King of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups. Two of Wands reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. And the Five of Wands. I do feel like there was some conflict. Somebody was going through some conflict. Um, five of Wands. Could be outer, outer or inner. But automatically, I felt you with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody could be feeling at a loss, a little bit lonely. Um, feeling very... Uh, like very solitary, solitude energy, feeling just kind of, I don't want to say desperate, just kind of lonely, like ready to reach out. I'm, I'm just feeling, yeah, I just need some company. King of Cups to reverse could be about someone finally opening up, admitting how they're feeling, which could lead to a new opportunity in love here. Two of Wands reverse, the path could be here now. Maybe there's a choice to be made. Um, I'm almost feeling like someone finally reaching out to somebody and saying, you know, I've been wanting to come forward for so long with how I'm feeling and I I have to. I have to come forward and put it all out on the table. Kim Cups reversed. Upright, he's kind of like my uh, reserved person that doesn't really show a lot of love and affection. And reverse is kind of the opposite. Could be very emotional as well, which could lead to this new opportunity. Someone making that choice. You know, not sure if it's going to work. Could lead to conflict. But I also feel like there could have been that past energy of like, well, maybe this wouldn't work because somebody has gone through a lot of conflict in their life right now. This this could be you, Libra, or maybe this other person. I'm feeling like it's you. I'm feeling like it's you. Because you've seen someone go through a lot. And now you just want to open up about how you're truly feeling about them. And you were just waiting, waiting because of the circumstance. But it's like, you know, I can't do this anymore. I have to tell you, I have to reach out. It's like, I want your love affection. <laughs> I want, you know, I want to give you mine and I want yours. 
Wow, okay. So we have Pisces showing up here. All right, Libra. Let's see. We're going to do one more line and see what else we need to know about this. For Libra, please. What do we need to know about this? Also, if it does resonate or you are enjoying this, Libra, please do like, comment, all the great things. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, one more row. And we're going to clarify with the top and the bottom of the deck as well before we get into the angel answers. All right. Libra, what do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this? All right, the sun. Happiest card in the deck. Six of wands. Wow. All right, what else? Queen of cups. Oh, my goodness. Ace of Swords, holy crap. The star reverse though. And the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like no more waiting, no more waiting. You know, I have to speak my truth. Truth, clarity, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, communication. This could be the successful new beginning, clearing the energy up. Like I have to bring all this to the forefront. Enlightenment, the sun and the Ace of Swords. Bringing everything to light. Success and victory here in that offer coming in. A lot of love, feelings, and emotions here. That current, caring, nurturing kind of energy. Nourishment. The stars like, no more stalemating. I have to do this. No more waiting. Seven Pentacles reverse. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe my wishes won't be fulfilled. Won't get my help so up too high, but I still have to do it. Uh, star reversed. But the sun, like, you know, growth, expansion, enlightenment, healing, love, prosperity, abundance, happy home and family. It's everything positive. Healing. So we have healing here, but then the star reverse is not quite done healing. So it's kind of a little bit back and forth energy with that. But we're going to pull more here for more clarity. But we do have here um, Leo, Cancer, and Aquarius. It's like... My love can help you heal whatever is left that needs to be healed. <laughs> Something like that. Interesting. All right. All right. So somebody may have a healing ability too or maybe in the healing arts or medicine. Hermit. Someone's definitely been keeping their energies at bay, being a little reclusive, held back. Knight of Swords, taking their time, not rushing. Definitely feels like a long time coming. Devil could have been a little, you know, consuming here, self-consuming. A lot of worry, stress, anxiety, negative thinking about this, being stuck in the energy, worried about it. The Fool, like not taking that leap of faith. I don't want to do anything foolish. But yet, yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. And if I'm a fool, I'm a fool. But we do have reciprocation here with the Six of Pentacles and Balance. Four of Swords, again, no more thinking. It's go time. The final judgment is here. I've been worried about this too much. Nine of Swords. I don't want to lose this person. I want the new cycle, so I have to come forward and tell this person. Emperor. Stepping up to the plate, taking charge, the lead. Eight of Pentacles, who knows if it works or not. But look at that. We have the Emperor and the Empress, which is a divine couple. So it's here. Again, felt like a long time coming, not rushing. But there is a connection. Here's the lovers. And then total happiness, joy, fulfillment, loyalty. Could be happening right now. Three of Wands reversed. No more fear. No more worry. Now we can see the path clearly. The moon reversed becomes the sun, which we have right there. There's the offer with the page of coins. Let's meet up. Let's talk. Let's go on a date. A coffee, a drink. We have Aries energy here. So, so whatever side this falls on, someone's taking the lead in the charge, coming through with the offer. And after this long time of support and not saying anything, I'm finally going to put my heart on the line. And whatever happens, happens. And I do see here something could move forward. Could move forward, definitely. We have Aries up there. All right, so we are in actually your season now, Libra, birthday season. Um, 
We didn't actually get any really Libra coming out here. We didn't see justice. We didn't see the Queen of Swords. Um, we did see the Empress, which is Libra Taurus. So something definitely could be happening during uh, Libra season. We did see the Devil, but we have strength up there. Strength overcomes anything, even the Devil. So I wouldn't worry about seeing that too much. But let's see what the angels answers have to say, what you need to know. And also everything you do need to know, Libra. No Libra is down below in the description box. Uh, my website's there as well as lots down there. Check it out if you like to. All right, Libra, angel answers, what do you need to know? You're ready. Yeah, somebody's ready. If you believe. So Libra, this is you. You're ready. You believe. Big happy changes. Wow. And there's no need to worry. Yeah, that's definitely what I felt here. Take action. Choose a new direction. Yeah, this relationship connection can go in a new direction. And within the next few months, what is that about? Romance. Look at that. And don't stop. So, yeah. So it may be, you know, connecting for now, getting energies out there and just maybe just taking it very, very slow. But I see a uh, full-blown romance, at least in the next few months, happening. So there's no, no, no need to worry. The big ha happy changes you want. Don't stop believing. You're ready. And things definitely changing. Libra, if that resonates. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I am wishing you the best. Happy birthday, and I do hope to see you next time.